I'm feeling a little peckish. So my mother-in-law has volunteered to make a little something. Murunga Kira Vade. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Navarasam. I have added soaked Bengal gram and Murunga Kheera, washed Murunga Kheera with salt in my blender to make a paste like this. It doesn't have to be a fine paste, a little coarse is okay. Now to our mix, we are going to add our finely chopped onions and our finely chopped chilies, then our finely chopped curry leaves. Now the thing about my mother-in-law making it is she's so patient in adding every single ingredient. I'm not like that. I would just dump it everything together in one bowl and just mix it up. Maybe that's why her experience and her patience makes the dish really yummy. Now let's mix it well. Make sure the onions and the chilies and the curry leaves is all mixed evenly in the batter because we don't want one vada to have onions and one vada to have all the chilies. Hot oil in my mother-in-law's 30-year-old kadai. Now let's take a little bit of the vada mao on your palms like the way she's showing it. Bring it into that vada shape. And drop it in the hot oil. Now the oil has to be really 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 hot otherwise the vada batter and the kira inside is not going to cook it's just gonna taste raw. And be careful when you're dropping the vada into the oil. Dropping it from a high position you're just going to splash oil all over you. As close to oil as possible but at the same time not trying to fry your hands. Now you can see the vada starting to cook. You have to keep turning it now and then like the way I'm doing it with my mother-in-law's 25-year-old karandi. She always uses this for all her sweets and savouries. Really big to handle but very handy. Very strong. She told me to tell you that. This is going to take a little while to cook. Now once you're happy with the brown colour, it's time to remove it. Remove the vadais from the kadai. Drain the oil a little bit and transfer it to your plate. Now this batter to palm and then turning it into vadai method doesn't work for me. It works for my mother-in-law but not for me. This method works. Just take a ball of batter, flatten it and drop it in the oil. I always do this method. Let's see that again. Batter into a ball, flatten it to a vadai and when you're happy with it, throw it into the oil. See how close she is to the oil? Looks like she's touching the oil but she's not but very close. That's how you drop the water into the oil. Look at that bubble. Wow. Now the vadas are ready. I'm hungry. The kids are starving. We're all waiting for it. While I go and have my snack, why don't you guys go have a quick recap? Crispy, crunchy, hot Murunga Kira vada. <laughs>
Instagram. Thank you. See you next week.